bands like that of Mark, Mark B. Nelson um, and, the, and the Pharmacy Bunch, um, Funky Freemason, Penis Cheese of Today Becomes the Antibiotics of Tomorrow, um, and it's fucking March into the Future. I hope that Capital Chemist doesn't make it too. That does make half a century before the mass exposure of the two co-founders. Uh, Rogers, Rogers had a tendency of leaving sex and religious discrimination based conflicts unaddressed and unresolved to the point where uh, as the person who's on the, re at the receiving end maybe for the day you're forced into silence but um if it's not followed up later or discussed later the, the bit that makes you really angry is that it um in his mind he flips it around into a case of wrongs for him for him to bear constitute him to a grudge that he bears against you um rather than it rather than address and apologize for um, and certainly on the same, same theme as the offence that he perpetrated to, to begin with. So, he remembers the genre, he remembers the category of offence. He just, uh, he needs to get away from this. It's, it's an, it's a lunatic delusion, like, I mean, Hitler was at least credited with getting applause from followers. Roger just needs to see that you're silent and at, a, at, a, at a time when, say, under his order, you've been brought to silence because you're at a staff gathering at a conference with like Cracker Back and you're required to be silent because some, it's the respectful thing to do during someone else's presentation. And um, Roger will think that your, your silence is, is equivalent to... I just saying to silence is synonymous with I agree, I, I hear you, and I agree. Yes, I say yes to everything you've said. Yes, I agree with everything you've said. Everything you've said, I find agreeable. I say yes to your every question, your every question. I answer in the affirmative. I affirm and answer yes to it and, and say yes back to everything you say. Uh, and he's, he's, he's a fuck with that way because, um. It's even, it's even bad comprehension of el elimination's role in scientific method, and, and enough that you would think he'd look at himself in his business and then boot himself out of any, um, any other avenues of pursuing stu social study interest because if, you like, if, you, if you've actually got your staff going well, fuck, we've got to save face around Roger because... Uh, he's got this real wolfed up um, next line of defense, which is like, do you agree with insert point of view here? And you go, no, actually, I have that. Um, in a number of respects, I contest that point of view. And, he goes, and then he'll raise his voice in the... Why don't you come forward and say what you did, you think? And why don't you recognize my authority? And where were you when I founded this business? <laughs> You have a right to be angry, furious, and even though that ticket won a million dollars... And that's where the doggy and uh, wolfed her fucking uh, uh, type of response that shows he's not into open dialogue, he's not into the idea that if he had a theory, you should... Uh, a smarter scientist should overturn it if, if they have more data. It shows why he's got this clinging to the classics. In, in, that, in that regard, um, interrogation, uh, in, an interrogation chamber crossed with Freud, um, eatable, every, everything, you, everything you, you can imagine must amount to everything. To so everything you want, you but you wouldn't imagine it. And other fallacies. And what a wolf. So, yes, if you were Santa Rod, you know, you could not 
serious in its rays, um, a fetal abortion in a bottle of, in, in, a, in a jar of formaldehyde solution. And Roger's response would be, well obviously I couldn't raise it, it would be floating of its own accord. Um, you know, because where I do real raising is when I... When I um, get Riot Act to publish my Malkara school the donations, and what are you going to do? Are you going to go and interview everyone there and um, grade everyone on their quotient for capacity for verbal responses, and um, you know, see who praises my name best? Because out there, I'm, I'm 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 top dog Roger Markby of the of the ancient West. And the ones that aren't in, when when they when they outgrow the wheelchair stage, that's when maybe they will meet they will meet me as as ped ho, as ho, uh, yeah ped homie or ho, homie ped whichever it is the sh the sh thick shoe in sole inserts ped ped homie. Last time I phoned the Waniasa shop, I said, "Can I please speak to?" Morning, ask the chemist, can I speak to Pet Homie? Um, so, you know, his, it's his slogans that really ask yourself what's more responsible. If, if, there's, if there's imposed council limits on... on how much distance there can or space there can be between the location of one pharmacy and another, and that could be two kilometres, and you're only open certain hours. Like, is it more responsible in relation to the to the ethical statute that a pharmacist is to take the health needs of the patient as the first consideration? That rather than uphold a slogan like "everybody needs their capital chemist," that you would direct them. If your in the event your store were closed, as to where to go, as to what the closest pharmacy is within a two kilometer kilom kilometer radius of of the closed pharmacy store at the time. But so none none of this matters with this uh, monist, and it, re it reflects his, the style of his profiles, churn churning out un unilateral one page. In, in some, this person's mental, and we need to build a. We want to. We want them to become one of our twelve grand a month, uh, a year, rebate customers. For, for, for you know, for this brief paid, and it, it squares up with their slogan, the ideology behind their slogan that everyone needs their company. That. Um, No, and I don't want I don't want them eaves particularly eavesdropping. See they have a view like that their view of the golden rule is like um, for me to be doing this sort of commentary, even after criminal mistreatment uh, involving the owners, I'm, I'm apparently not allowed to report on it without uh, stirring them or spurring them on to be right right in either things like phone hacking. Uh, this, that, and the other. Like, you should be subjecting yourself to public scrutiny if you have, particularly if you have have nothing to hide. Um, it's very, very simple. The correlations. It's uh, the policies in place, and you know, more people, more people are using opiates and dying from opiate misuse. I'm like, well. Get rid of Panadine Ford, please. You know, so often for a person to, to get sufficient amounts of codeine, they need to study uh, filter separation techniques to use water to get codeine flushed out of Panadine Ford through a filter and into some liquid separated from the paracetamol. Otherwise, the amount of paracetamol they have to subsequently take and ingest in order to get the right amount of codeine is going to harm their liver. If these people are on Panadine Ford, 
And, that, and that's, that's something I'd like to know about, you know, as all these, if, if these reports have been done up going, well, this person's on, on and has, we're going to say has died from opiate use, if, were any of them Pan Panadine Ford? Because if they were, they, they might have had to take three times the nest, the safe amount of paracetamol, which, which is not an opiate, in order to get enough pain relief out of the codeine. And now codeine phosphate, which is just the codeine independent of the panadine fort, is even more restricted. And this, that's what I came to hate about pharmacy. It, it got to the point where you could view it as a matrix, like a matrix where they go, well, here's all the raw material, like, here's, here's all what prohibition has done. There's no modern Al Capone saying, give us, give us King O'Malley's, PJ O'Reilly's, or we'll shoot your tires with Tommy guns. There's just, um, there are certain facts, like, before being, becoming homo sapiens, uh, our, our forebearers would have recognized certain medicinal properties. They wouldn't have known terms like drugs. They would have known, they would have been like food sources. So they, they, they may have herbally decorated a meal, thinking, well, we've got to go on a long walk tomorrow. So, um, for our morning meal tomorrow, we'll have epinephrine. Well, they wouldn't have called it epinephrine, just the, the plant for the energy plant or whatever they were fucking to call it. But the idea is that um, if in a culture you restrict and say it's wrong for, for a person to, to be able to have these substances accessible to them under the right to health, uh, even though the race co-evolved with the same plants, then the trade-off for that is that you've created more states of ill of of sickness through policy, and big farmers going to respond to that by saying, "Well, now we've gone and embarked on projects to make more pharmaceuticals with higher rebate costs, so we can build governments and we can build rebate." Uh, the Health Insurance Commission to rebate pharmacies. Um, and yeah, that's that's why I'm very proud of wherever it is that prohibition got got given the the, the boot because that that's that's a wise move. Then there's no black market versus white market warfare. There's no the substances are taxable. They're able to be made, um, the, they can be ma manufactured clean, um, good quality, there could be quality control, no, and, um, so who's, who's been on Hippocratic if they're going well, let's just keep banning more and more of what we all co-evolved with. Oh, did we co-evolve with opium? Let's say opium's bad then. Like, um, or be more specific in these reports about how more people are dying from opium. Like, of those people, how many of them were have been given panadine fort? And how do we know they weren't medicated from pain from the codeine enough to not, just enough to not notice the liver failure they were going into? For not producing enough lactic acid to process the one gram of paracetamol per three to four hours, as the healthy healthy liver liver does, um, because I'm sure that these statisticians, as for, 43 percent of people know all statistics are made up on the spot. Uh, how many of these stat statisticians are coming through saying, well? opiate related overdose oh uh, by the way this percentage we're taking panadine forward panadine forward's a drug that I, I believe poses a, a threat to health and safety simply because of the amount of para the ratio of paracetamol to codeine um, and that's my two cents fuck off good night Thank you for watching.
and Luke's channel. You've got no taste at all. And here we go for another bullshit new 2021 yippee-doo. Indeed. Thank you, Tim. 2021. Peace out, YouTube. What it would do is make sure that officiation... Like, I'm not saying that um, mental health services should go. I'm saying that... Um, Things like voluntary admissions should still be uh, supported. Um, treating people as if they're too stupid to answer the question, can you put this tablet in your mouth with this amount of water to swallow the tablet? Um, I'm against that, but yeah, if you, if you just imagine that, well, all of these substances that in, can be used in, in moderation that have health health benefits, uh, it seems to be that what has happened when molecules have been tweaked with is that the aim has been to remove, though you can have sub-debates over like, well, how upon survey do you decide that someone has, has now reached so, so euphoric a state? The, and that, that state is to be completely attributed to the last drug they took and, and is rather than factors of a circumstantial nature that have had bearing on a shift of well-being. Um, communion and, and forbidden apples in the, in the minds of Christian judges give uh, a, a, a somewhat skewed view on this, uh, uh, which is to say, you know, if you if you're happy, it's it's the drugs. The, um, but yeah, that these weren't these would have been plants going back. It's the one thing of the Bronze Age I I, I quite like is the thought that you could grow your uh, lettuce and tomato and celery and pineapple and peaches and plums and opium and cocaine and epinephrine and um, no one was no one would have told you that they were, were drugs and that um, that one were drugs and the others were food <coughs> but this yeah so like lignocaine, xylocaine benzocaine are all anesthetics that, so they give you an, they anesthetize, which they make regions numb. Um, but they're all de and they're all derivative from cocaine. So xylocaine, lignocaine, benzocaine. Um, they're in the same family as cocaine. They just won't get you high like cocaine. Um, so they've tried to tweak with the molecule to remove the euphoria but preserve the clinical effect. But every time they've tw syn synthetically uh, re remolded or reshaped a molecule, what new effects, um, or be they non-euphoric or non-euphoria inducing effects, what new effects have become possible? Uh, and that being a bit of a mystery, within within the span of of just a couple of decades, you've gone from cold and flu cold and flu tablets being comprised of paracetamol, codeine, and ephedrine, and then within a few years, it goes to paracetamol, codeine, and pseudo ephedrine, which meant uh, false ephedrine. Um, which was an attempt to, to, to make sure that ephedrine wasn't going to make you too happy. Um, the, the last thing you wanted, like the, the people that you <coughs> um, spat spat balls at in school or passed notes around, um, judging your mood and if you're too happy a person or not, so happy a person as to suggest we retweak the 
molecular structure of an entire molecule and all and countrywide policies concerning its supply and distribution. Um, says a, a boring pedophilanthropist with no children. Uh, oh, these people are clearly too happy. The drugs need to be changed at once. Now let's put phen phenylephrine in. Yeah, uh, and, and that's the reality about when you contrast what what big pharma poli polit Thanks, politician mate. folk are picking at. Uh, before I hear another report about how opium's leading to all these deaths, I, I want to hear about how many of them were taking Panadine Ford amongst their opium regime. Because I don't think it to be a good drug. Um, and, uh, and, and taking it properly is not sufficient pain relief from the coding in many people's cases, which means that they're, they're, they're then forced to take more codeine to get the right amount of codeine, and, but will then take more paracetamol than is healthy for their liver and wind up with more problems, you know, uh, which could include liver failure if, if, if lactic acid can't be generated by the body in a compensatory manner relative to the total amount of paracetamol ingested every two to three or two to four hours. So to to to, to um yeah ignore mentioning the the, the damage that Panadine Fort can be doing in, and blaming um par paracetamol as as if it were an opi as if it were opium and dangerous opium. The other tr trend you otherwise notice is that the the price of the, or the value of the, of the substances once once a, a chemist is paid back by the health insurance commission, is that they're protesting that the pharma pharmacies are and the guild are into protesting the drugs that don't have a lot to offer in terms of rebate rebate value. So they're not they're not worth. Oh, interestingly, they're not they're not worth fuckloads upon rebate. They, they, they're quite they're quite affordable, and and that tends to happen in uh, in regards to substances that occur in nature. They're easy to to, to grow. They're easy to grow on mass. Uh, they're affordable and they don't merit expensive charges. So. Proportionate to prohibition in a society is um, now a, a, a market, a, um, a target market where a bunch of people that if they had the awareness of these substances which are flagged illicit, are called dangerous despite, I mean a drug is any substance with, that has a pharmacological effect on the body. Your every cigarette is a drug, your every cup of coffee is a drug, your every beer is a drug. So. Um, prohibition being proportionate to doors and avenues opening for new diagnoses of uh, uh, new types of disorders and then the question being there well if, if, if this drug wasn't pro prohibited I mean, would everyone's nasal everyone with a nasal sinus mucosa cyst would their cyst go away if they were given medicinal cocaine uh, is is too taboo a question to ask, um, simply because of Thanks society's you, attitude toward cocaine. And and and, and, and once again, we're back to well, who's doing harm? Who's doing harm? Um, the implementers of policies who, who don't include us in our in their debates and. Uh, might as well be, you know. They might as well. They might as well be the the wise priest that just never that never never touched us in that way. <laughs> and, and and that's why they've won a few um, de default merit points. But, but in terms of saying wise things to us about um, the proportionate relationships between prohibition and and. Um, public health and 
safety. Uh, you, know, you can just label disorder, new disorder after new disorder. Um, or let people have the recreational regimes that they, they like and not make them feel guilty or ashamed for it. Uh, those conversations could go. On the topic of um, keeping minds like that of Mark, Mark B. Nelson um, and, the, and the pharmacy bunch uh, of the funky Freemason penis cheese of today becomes the antibiotics of tomorrow um, and his fucking march into the future. I hope that Capital Chemist doesn't make it to its 50th year before a major trade. Uh, that doesn't make half a century bef before the mass exposure of the two co-founders. Uh, Rogers, Rogers had tendency of leaving sex and religious discrimination based conflicts unaddressed and unresolved to the point where um, as the person who's on the rec at the receiving end you, maybe for the day you're forced into silence but um, if it's not followed up later or discussed later the, the bit that makes you really angry is that it um, in his mind he flips it around into a case of wrongs for him, for him to bear, constitute him to a grudge that he bears against you, um, rather than a, rather than address and apologise for, um, and certainly on the same same theme as the offence that 